Good morning, everyone. So, I was talking to David yesterday, and uh, we had some really good conversations between us and what we're going through together in our life. And uh, we were talking about the Bible and God, and, and um, he told me, you know, honey, you're very smart in the Bible. You, you, you know that word of God really nicely. And I told him I haven't brought my Bible out in a long time. But today, here it is. And I am grateful to God that I know when to call on him. Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, I know when to just pick up this Bible and start reading. And I know a lot of times God will use someone to prompt me to want to pick up my Bible. So here I go today. So I'm reading today's scripture right now. We'll read it together on my calendar. I bought me and mom the same identical calendar, I think a year or two ago. But for August 15th, it says, instead of this negative response, try to view difficulties as blessings in disguise. Make me your refuge by pouring out your heart to me, trusting in me at all times. So the scripture is 55, Psalms 55, 17. So let's go to Psalms 55, 17. Psalms 55, 17. Yes, I still love the Lord, even though I lost my son, even though my marriage is going through something right now, even though David had cancer, I still love the good Lord, and I know he loves me, and I know he's here for me, and I know he's not pushing himself on me. He's just waiting for me patiently to walk back into his life. So Psalms 55, 17 says, Evening and morning and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. That's right, folks. So whatever is on your mind, morning, noon, or night, speak it aloud to God. He hears you. He knows your wants, your needs, your desires. He is well aware of circumstances in your life. He's well aware of what's coming up in your life next. So with this being said, he wants us to feel comfortable to come to him at all times, morning, noon, or night. So let's read on. Verse 18, he has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. For there are many against me. God will hear and afflict them, even he who abides from of old. So God is here to fight our battles. And God wants us to give it all to him. Don't be weary, don't worry. Just allow him into your life and to be a part of your life daily. And he will work situations out for your good. He is such an amazing, beautiful God who is very patient with us. He knows through the heartaches in life and the losses, the tragedies. He knows we get weary, we get weak. He knows that we get upset with him like me. I've told you all, uh, through the loss of my son, I didn't wanna talk to God. I didn't wanna read my Bible anymore. I just wanted to blame him for giving me a blessing but taking it back from me. So, um, 
Now my mindset is different. My heart is different. I've been going to counseling once or twice a month, so that's really helping me. It's not getting easier, the loss of my son. It's just I'm handling it a little differently now. So I got my two puppies. We had just gotten up. We slept here in the living room. I had a friend over last night, and I I gave my, my room up because that's what you're supposed to do for guests. So I gave my room up for my guests so my best guest could get a good night's sleep and go to work in the morning. But I'm here with my dogs, and I just wanted to share that little word with you all. And then over here in Psalms 56, 3, it says, When I am afraid, I will trust in you. So when you're afraid of something, trust in God. Trust in the good Lord. He is here for us for a reason. He wants us to lean on him. He wants us to put our burdens on him. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do to me. In other words, do not fear man. Do not fear what the next human being is capable of doing. Trust in the Lord. He is your vindicator. He will fight your battles for you. All day they twist my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. Yes. There are evil people in the world that want bad for you. Even if you want nothing but good for them. They will tell you in your face. I want to see you crumble in Oh, they want bad for you. It's not them per se, but it's the demon, the demonic spirit in them that is saying that. So what you do is you part ways. And you part ways peacefully. You forgive them. Love them. Hey, 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 no. Hey, Gianni Gambino, no. No. Hey. You love them with a long arm. You pray for them. You bless them with some healing words. And you just go on about your business. Hey. Gianni. You want to go in your cage for hurting your brother? Now, no. No, boy. Get down. Come here. Come here. Come here for a minute. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, come here. Let me show the people you. Oh my God, he's getting so big. This is Gianni, folks. And Gianni is getting to be a big boy already. And he's beating up on his little brother. He's a, he's a standard poodle, so he's going to be about 70 pounds. And Gambino is a Maltese poodle, and he's only 11 pounds. But when they play, they get down to the nitty-gritty. Yeah, I love you, boy. Okay, be nice to your brother. <laughs> so as I was saying, you pray for those that despitefully use you and persecute you and say mean things and do mean things to you. Turn the other cheek, give it to God, and step out of the way. Get your own spot, people. You do not have to stay in a relationship that is tumultuous. You do not have to stay in a marriage just because you're a Christian and you feel that God wants you two together, even through the dysfunction and the disaster and the destruction. It's okay to part your way. You can love your significant other for eternity. Pray them through, love them. You're not better than them. They're not better than you. But when two people are at battle, 
Sometimes it's not a spirit. Sometimes it's not a physical battle. It is a spiritual battle. A battle between God and Satan himself. So when you know these things and you try to fix these things. Come here. Give me that. Come here, baby. And you try to fix these things. Hold on one minute, please. Mm -hmm. And you can't fix them on your own strength. you got to put on the whole armor of God and know your place. Because it is a spiritual battle. So you better know your word of God and you better put on the whole armor and you better fight with all the word. His strength, not your own strength. So in Psalms 56, verse 5, All day they twist my words, all their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather together, oh yeah, they hide, they mark my steps. When they lie and wait for my life, shall they escape my iniquity. And anger cast down the people, oh God. So, <clears throat> you can talk to God and ask God to take care of your situation and he'll do just that. It says in verse 8, you number my wanderings, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? He knows every tear that we shed. When I cry out loud to you, then my enemies will turn back. This I know because God is for me. So, as much as I love David, I kept crying out to God. I can't do this. I can't do this. This is too much for me. I can't do it. This is my second time around in this relationship. I love this dear, this man dearly. I don't want to love again. I don't want to love anybody else ever again. I want this relationship to work, Lord Jesus. This is why we are back in the relationship. It was getting worse and worse and worse. So one day I woke up and I said, Dear Lord, if you bless me with the kind of place I want to go live at, bless my finances to do it, I promise you I will make stride and I will go get the place that you appoint me to do, to get. And that's what I did. And now here I'm in my beautiful little place. It's not a three-bedroom house. I don't have a two-car garage. It's just me, Gambino, and now my new puppy Gianni in my one bedroom apartment but it's awesome it's peaceful it's very clean it's very inviting I live directly across from the pool I'm not far from the front I have a gym here and it's peaceful here and when I come home from work I have peace and harmony no more debating, fighting, and arguing, and reasoning with somebody that just wants to keep badgering and badgering and badgering. So sometimes you get weak, and you throw in the towel. You tap out, and you say, I can't do this no more. But it isn't that you don't love the person. You love them wholeheartedly. You want nothing but the best for that person but you know you're not the person for that person any longer. So in my situation, I stepped to the side. I told my husband I was going to get me an apartment. I gave him forewarning months before that if you don't straighten up and stop with your antics, I'm out of here. So this is where I'm at. I'm in a peaceful place in my life. I'm doing me. And it feels good to know that I'm not going to be judged by the good Lord because I decided 
to step away from an abusive emotional, psychological, verbal marriage. So I wanted to share that with you today and I want you guys to know that I'm okay, David's okay, we're going to be okay and I will always pray he and his brother Lance through but I couldn't do it anymore and it's okay to say that you you didn't have what it took to withstand that type of battle. In God, I will praise his word. In the Lord, I will praise his word. So, the Lord loves me. I love him. He loves you. I'm still reading on Psalms 56 now. Verse 11. In God, I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? So there you have it. Man is not capable of doing anything to you that you do not allow. Get somewhere with God. Get in his presence and thank him. Thank him for all his beautiful blessings. Thank him for his word. Thank him for his patience. God, this looks like I got big boobs, but I don't. It's just the nightgown. See, I'm not, I got, I gained some weight, but I'm really not fat. I'm still little, see? But anyways, um, get some words with the good Lord. He knows you're hurting. He knows you want to love him. He knows you want him in your presence, in his presence. He knows you want to be. But he's not going to throw himself on you. He will not do that. Where's my So, it's okay not to be okay sometimes. It's okay to not have the answers, how to figure it out. But there's someone upstairs that can help you figure it out. You just got to be transparent and forthright and vulnerable. It's okay to be vulnerable and not always be strong. We put on this facade that we're strong and everything's okay. And we go about our life daily pretending that, oh, life is so beautiful, it's lovely, it's peachy, creamy, and it's okay. When in actual reality, you're dying inside. So get somewhere in the good book. Take time out for God, folks. I'm taking time out today. There's nothing wrong in my life. My life's going in a good, awesome direction. But I know when the Holy Spirit is calling me to spend time with him. So this is my time spent with him. It was just spur of the moment, random. I had asked him two days ago, what would you like me to say if I was to do a video? Mm. This was two days ago. Well, I said what I guess he wanted me to say, and I'm being transparent. And I'm being honest. And hopefully this video will help someone, even if it's one person out. I love you guys. You take care. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.